At Forschungszentrum Jülich, scientists are laying the foundations for the technologies of the future. With the help of neutrons, some 200 employees at the Jülich Center for Neutron Science, or JCNS for short, are gaining unique insights into different kinds of materials. Their basic research will help to solve complex problems in the areas of health, energy and information technology. Better drugs and therapies. Light matrix composites. New methods for energy storage. High performance batteries for future mobility. And innovative materials for data processing are all potential applications for the research at JCNS. Uncharged neutrons, together with the positively charged protons, form the nucleus of atoms. Beams of free neutrons are used to investigate the atomic structure and dynamics of solid and soft matter in a non-destructive manner. Scattering experiments measure how the neutron's properties change when they pass through a sample. In this instance, the direction of flight is changing. Detectors record the scattered neutrons and map the scattering pattern typical of the sample. From these patterns, the position of the atoms can be precisely determined down to a billionth of a millimeter. Throughout the world, there are around 20 large-scale neutron sources used for scientific purposes. JCNS does research at the best of these sources, using more than a dozen of its own instruments. JCNS operates most of these instruments in Garching, near Munich, at the research reactor FRM2. Here neutrons are generated through nuclear fission. When a neutron hits a uranium nucleus, the nucleus splits into two parts and releases free neutrons, some of which impinge on other uranium nuclei. In this way, neutrons are constantly released in a chain reaction. The free neutrons fly through so-called neutron guides with the speed of a jet fighter to the experimental stations. At one of these stations, Zhen Dongfu is investigating new materials for the information technology of the future. This is DNS our diffuse neutron scattering instrument. I use it to study the magnetic structure of molecular magnets. Molecular magnets can be very useful for future quantum computing and uh, massive data storage. But before we use it for applications, we have to know what kind of magnetic structure it has. So in this respect, DNS is a very powerful instrument because I can study the magnetic structure in atomic level. In the DNS experiment, Zhen Dongfu exploits a special property of the neutrons. Neutrons are small elementary magnets. Like a tiny compass, they react to the magnetic fields of individual atoms. This reaction is measured in the DNS experiment. It's important to know the magnetic order and dynamics on the atomic level. On this basis, New storage media with lower energy consumption and new functionalities can be developed. In order to ensure the future of our energy supply, sustainable, safe and affordable alternatives for generating and storing energy are needed. Dr. Aline Lyon is using the SPHERES instrument, a backscattering spectrometer, to study materials that may be suitable for storing energy. I am using this instrument to study the hydrogen motion on a molecular level. I am investigating hydrogen storage materials. These materials release this hydrogen upon heating, and we want to understand the mechanism when the hydrogen is traveling out of the material. And hydrogen is of interest because it is seen as an alternative energy carrier, and also combined with the fuel cell technology, it will be useful for a safe energy supply and a clean environment. With the SPHERES spectrometer, 
researchers make use of the fact that neutrons change their velocity as a result of their interaction with the atoms in the material samples. They record these minute changes in velocity and use them to calculate the motion of atoms. JCNS operates an especially high-performance instrument for measuring motion at the Spallation Neutron Source, or SNS, in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. At SNS, the neutrons are generated by a different method from the one used at the reactor in Garching. With a particle accelerator, proton salvos are fired at a heavy metal in rapid succession. 20 to 30 neutrons are knocked out of each struck nucleus. This process, known as spallation, is more efficient than nuclear fission. These intense neutron pulses make completely new experiments and findings possible. Scientists use the neutron spin echo spectrometer designed at Ulich to study motion in complex structures for instance, in plastic polymers or in the protein molecules of living cells. Proteins are contained in all cells, where they synthesize or transport substances. We can use neutron scattering to view the motion of these proteins shown here. The motion is closely linked with the way they function. We anticipate that the insights on how exactly proteins function will help us learn why diseases develop and suggest possible options for treating them. JCNS is at home in Forschungszentrum Jülich. In Jülich, the tradition of building, operating and using neutron scattering instruments goes back more than 50 years. JCNS works closely with Ulich's Central Technology Division to produce the next generation of scattering instruments. These instruments are designed to investigate specific scientific questions and are custom-built in many years of work. Throughout the world, every year, several hundred researchers from science and industry apply for beam time on the JCNS instruments. An international scientific committee selects the best qualified projects. JCNS experts provide comprehensive support for guest users, which ensures that their beam time is used effectively. In order to prepare their samples, the scientists have top-class labs at their disposal. Research with neutrons requires special know-how. To this end, JCNS trains young scientists in workshops and courses. So having the best team build the best instrument at the best source is clearly a win-win situation for everybody. Ian Anderson's sentiments at the dedication of the Ulich instrument at SNS put the JCNS mission in a nutshell building, operating and providing the best instruments at the best sources. That's why JCNS is participating in the European Spallation Source in Lund, Sweden. When it opens in 2019, it will be the world's highest performance neutron source and one of the most important international research facilities. It will enable significant developments that we can't even imagine today. JCNS is already contributing its years of experience during the planning phase and will also operate its own instruments at ESS. Neutron research at Ulich will continue to pave the way for materials and technologies of the future with the best instruments the best infrastructure and the best team.